Hey everyone and welcome to the second Java CV tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you some basic video processing operations. Okay, first of all, I'll just create a new file. I mean file new project Java CV2. Click on next. Build path, libraries, jar files, open, auto export, set all and finish. Now new class I'll just name it as Java CV2 click on finish here I'll just import all the packages required for the Java CV operations close that okay now coming to the main part of the program in here CV create I mean okay wait in here CV capture capture equals CV create file capture Of semicolon and when it comes vid.mp4. Okay, this function is same as the CV load image function, which loads the image file into the IPL image variable. But in here, it's uh, it's going to load the video file into the capture uh, CV capture variable. Okay, once we have got the um, video file into the capture variable, we need to process them as frames. So I'm going to create a new IPL image frame, IPL image named as frame. And so once we have got you know video file and the image frames from it we need to display them uh, on a window okay uh, there is a, a function uh, called cv named window uh, to create a window or you can use just cv show image to display the image frames on a window but now i will use cv named window a new function to create a window and display the image inside that this uh, function accepts two uh, arguments one is a string format that is the name of the window another one uh, is an integer value by default it is zero if i give it as zero window will not resize to any image dimensions okay, if i change this to cv window auto size then the window will resize itself according to the image which has to be displayed inside it i mean if for example uh, uh, you know image uh, has a dimension of uh, or the resolution of uh, 1280 by 720 or 640 by 480 or 320 by 240 the window will automatically resize itself to fit the image inside it okay, now coming to the next part uh, after grabbing the images from the uh, video file we need to display them continuously so i'll just type in you know infinite for loop or you can just give in in you know you can just display this image frames inside the infinite while loop or so like that i'm using uh, i'm going to use infinite for loop for example in here frame equals cv query frame of capture okay, this function uh, grabs each frame from the capture uh, video file from the video file that is present in the capture variable and copies that frame into the variable named frame IPL image frame okay once we have got the frame uh, we need to display them on a window so CV show image video inside the codes and frame notice that I have mentioned the same name as the window window name and now next for the CV wait key if I write this statement like this then the CV wait key will wait for the user input and it will not process the next for loop that that means one loop will be executed in order to go to the next loop and show the next frame of the video uh, I need to give the user input that means I need to type in a key from the keyboard and then uh, it will get the input from the keyboard and it will play the video so if I change that to 30 seconds if I change and uh, run the program the next frame is played automatically uh, after 30 milliseconds I just copy the video file into the projects directory and play the video and run the program now Okay, it's playing the video inside the name inside the window named video each frame is playing in a 30 milliseconds delay that means uh, after uh, you know one frame the next frame is played after 30 milliseconds one more thing is 
I cannot stop playing this video whenever I want. That means even if I close the uh, window, the window will pop up again and showing the images. So I just have to terminate the program and close the window. So in order to overcome that, I'll just modify the program a little bit as char c equals equals cv weight key. The cv weight key function gets the input from the keyboard and that input is fed into the character variable c. So I'm going to compare the key inputted uh, and break the for loop. Okay, here the c is compared with a 27 that is the ascii value of escape key is 27. So if I press the escape key then it has to break from the for loop and exit the program. Okay now the video is playing. If I press the escape key it will exit the loop. Once we are out of the for loop we need to deallocate the memory allocated for the various variables. I know we need to deallocate the memory allocated for capture variables and window variables. So cv release capture of capture. This going to this is going to deallocate the memory allocated for the capture variable. Now cv destroy window video. This is going to deallocate the memory allocated for the window variable. Okay, one more thing. If the video file is not present inside the default project directory, then there will be no video file uh, loaded into the capture folder, capture variable. So any uh, frames, uh, you know, there will be an error. If there is no uh, video file inside the uh, inside the project folder, there will be no video inside the capture and no frames will be, you know, extracted from that folder. So it will give an error. So in order to you know, display that error message or to break the loop whenever there is no video file found in that uh, default project location. I'm going to create another uh, if statement in here. If the frame captured is equal to null, then break the loop by displaying an error message. Okay, now uh, let's, I'll just uh, rename the video file. And now run the program. Okay, here it is. Error, no video file. I just say, uh, change this back to the video. I mean, vid dot mp4. Okay, now you can see the video is playing. I, you can also increase the delay by you know typing 100 milliseconds like that. Now, if you just play the video, the video is playing a little bit slow now. It's the each frame is waiting for 100 milliseconds and then play going to the next loop and displaying the next frame. So I just changed the, it back to the 30 milliseconds. Okay, in this part of the program is about you know displaying the or uh, getting the info, getting the video file into the program and processing those image frames. If I connect the webcam to my computer and I want to get the input from that webcam, there is another web function called cv create camera capture okay, here it is and in this function accepts one argument that is by default if i give a cv cap any then the default webcam connected to the computer will be used as an input to this program so if there is any other program any uh, if there is multiple webcams connected to your pc then read the description of this video so that you can get uh, more details about it okay i'll just run the program now Okay, here it is, the input from the webcam video. My webcam's video is playing 30 milliseconds per frame. For each frame, it's waiting for 30 milliseconds. Okay, I'll just close this program. Another modification can be made. Uh, you know, since we have got the frames uh, of the video in IPL image format, we can do any kind of image manipulating operations. That means converting those frames from one channel to another channel, such as HSV or grayscale, you can do that uh, by you know creating another uh, by creating another variable IPL image gray IMG equals CV create image. Okay, in here three arguments first one is this dimension i'll define the dimension with a new function called cv size as 640 by comma 480 and next one is the depth ipl depth that is eight pixels eight depth pixels and third one is the channel that is one channel since the grayscale is one channel the new function that is cv size uh, will uh, accept two in uh, 
uh, arguments that is uh, two integer variables two integer arguments uh, first one will be the width and second one will be the height it indicates the dimensions of the image file in here inside the for loop cv convert color cvd color of first one is the, the source that is frame second one is the destination that is gray image img third one is the function which converts uh, bgr to gray that means blue green red image into gray scale image i'll just change this as gray img so that gray image will be displayed on the window run the program here it is the gray scale image the gray scale video is being displayed from the webcam I'll just close this program you can do this the same thing even for the you know video file I'll just comment this out and cut and paste this line in front of the equals and now execute the program here it is all the frames are getting converted from BGR that is color frames to the grayscale images and then it's displayed on the window okay. and now that's all for the second Java CV tutorial Thank you for watching. Visit my blog engineervisions.blogspot.in for more details and updates about these videos.